Making video games is hard. These days, your AAA affairs only make it to shelves if the GDP of a small country has been spent on them and all the developers have taken a blood oath never to see their families again. So no matter how a video game turns out, people, like, like real people, have spent precious years of their precious lives making them. And I think we have to respect that. But having said that, it was announced the other week that Crystal Dynamics would see some work on Marvel's Avengers. Play the whole, play the whole and it's fun. The I'm doing a whole and it's song. Put it on. That's it. We're celebrating, boys. And look, I don't feel good about this. Okay, I don't feel proud dancing to Hollow Notes right now because those poor, poor developers must feel like shit. But you know what? In the long term, for the integrity of video games as a whole, I think it's really important that games like this are shunned. Let's go back to the start though. Released in 2020, Marvel's Avengers was very much a game of its time as a plight upon society released during a plight upon society. It was boring, repetitive, and everyone thought the main characters looked like stunt doubles, which I think is unfair and wrong. I think it instead looks like a pirate game that you'd find on holiday. Even something about the font just screams to me five euros in a plastic case beside some offensive fridge magnets. But the main reason people really hated it was because it utilised a games as a service model. Now, games as a service, right, is basically a game that's released and then supported with new content post-launch, and that usually requires a bit of additional money. That could be, you know, story expansions, costumes, new characters, whatever, stuff like that. But basically, with AAA game development, ballooning in size and scope and cost, developers and publishers are trying to figure out ways to guarantee their money back so they don't lose their houses after spending the better part of a decade sculpting Modoc's ball bag of a head. But what games as a service is instead becoming, as in the case of Marvel's Avengers, is wee pictures that sit beside your profile for emotes, for new takedowns, and for costumes. The highlight of which has to be paying $14 for Thor's movie costume, then having to pay an additional $5 for exactly the same costume, but without the wee helmet. The story you do get for free on the disc and by free I mean paid £50 for, genuinely has moments where the main objective is to meet vendors who sell you loot and gear and weapons. It's a completely soulless experience that's no doubt set to become a hit Disney Plus series in the coming years. But worst of all, a year or so after the release, Marvel's Avengers introduced the option to pay to level up your character faster. The thing is, it still has to be possible for a player to be able to you know, level themselves up just by playing the game without any additional cost, but if your game has the option to pay to skip all of that, then that's always going to be preferable to a publisher. So, right, here's what worries me, right, two things. Can someone put a tinfoil hat on me? Here's my theory. In that case, your bog standard missions have to be fun, but not too fun that the option to pay to skip them isn't a temptation. So surely you've got a situation where developers are having to purposely think about how to stop things from being too enjoyable. Trying to work out that fine line between making the game fun enough that you want to keep playing, but not too fun that you, you know, maybe don't want to spend an additional tenner for leveling up your character so that bigger numbers fly out of enemies' heads after Captain America backhands them. But look, I genuinely believe that the way in which games are made and released and experienced by players at the moment has to change. We're waiting about six or seven years for a game that's had millions of pounds spent on it and whole teams of developers working unbearable crunch just to be released and for folk to stop talking about it a month or so later. But I tell you something, the way in which you fix that is not by making something like Marvel's Avengers. No, no way. And here's hoping that all those poor developers that had to, that had to make this get to go and work on something now that, that pleases their soul. Because I tell you something, they have earned it. Okay, I'm gonna... Ready? I'm gonna... Too much for a shake, 
too much of a shake back to actually throw. 